If you want to make good pizza, you're going to need a good dough recipe. But if you want to make great pizza, you're going to need this recipe. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. And if you're new here, welcome to Cooking with Chef Tuan. And as usual, all the ingredients will be linked in the description box down below. This is a very easy recipe. You don't have to deal with a sourdough starter or a poolish, none of that. It's just straightforward, blooming yeast and water with a little bit of flour in it. Once your yeast shows proof of life, add it to your flour and salt mixture. I let this run on speed number two for about a couple minutes until it all comes together and then scrape down the side of the bowl just to make sure everything gets evenly incorporated. Now the hydration percentage of this dough recipe is 70%. That is a great all around pizza dough for Neapolitan style, New Haven style of beets. And I even use this for my Detroit style pizzas as well. Whenever you're dealing with a high hydration dough, this slap and fold method is a perfect way to get it to shape nicely. Oh, and for the YouTube algorithm, go ahead and click the like button. Now you wanna take your beautiful dough ball and put it into a lightly greased bowl. Make sure you cover this tightly with cling film and then into an oven that is turned off, but with the light on, it's gonna proof in here for five hours. We're gonna be proofing this for a total of 24 hours the other 19 hours will be in the fridge. And this is where all the magic happens. Your gluten will form and you will also develop a really nice flavor for your pizza dough. Next step, gently pour your dough out onto a clean work surface and divide it into three dough ball portions. Now, if you wanna weigh it out, it's gonna roughly be around anywhere between 225 to 227 per dough ball. And as before, slap and fold. And now because this dough has oil on it, it's gonna be a little bit easier to work with. You wanna get your dough balls to be nice and tight and make sure that the bottom is sealed. And I'm going to be using these little to-go containers with a little spray of olive oil. I love these because they're stackable and that way it doesn't take up too much room in your fridge. Continue doing this until you're finished rolling and shaping all of your pizza doughs. Once we finish shaping all of our dough balls, we're gonna clean up our station and we're going to date our pizza doughs. Now they're gonna be optimal in your fridge for up to three days. Now five hours in the oven and 19 hours in the fridge, 24 hours later, this is what the dough looks like. As you can see, it's proofed a little bit. It's nice and smooth. It is very supple and it smells incredible. I have a bunch of pizza videos already on my channel, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm just going to make a New Haven style of beets with pepperoni, serranos, vodka sauce. I'm gonna toss this into my uni until it's cooked to perfection, just like how I like it. Now give this recipe a try and you're on your way to making great pizza.